Huawei and Apple have recently released their own annual blockbuster flagship smartphones, one day ahead of Apple's Huawei Mate 50 series, which debuted Bidu satellite communication, variable aperture, ultra long standby, etc., which has attracted widespread attention in the industry. SmartThings also got the Huawei Mate 50 for the first time, and had a few days of in-depth review. It can be said that in terms of phone photography, communication, battery life, system performance tuning, multi-device collaboration and interoperability, and appearance. Huawei Mate 50 can be said to be a work that is full of sincerity. After 690 days, the Huawei Mate series has finally returned. Through the in-depth review of Huawei Mate 50, we can see Huawei's thinking on smartphone appearance, and Huawei's forward-looking judgment on industry development trends. When it comes to the Mate series, the iconic appearance has always been a major feature of it. This time, the Huawei Mate 50 series still continues the overall appearance of the previous generation Square Plus Circle, but the internal lens arrangement has been adjusted. The four cameras and sensors are evenly dispersed in the ring, which is called a symmetrical situation. What's more interesting is that in the circle, Huawei used an appearance called pear stud, which improved the sophistication of the phone to a certain extent. It has to be said that today, when the appearance of the back of the phone is difficult to come up with new ideas, the back appearance of the Huawei Mate 50 series is still highly recognizable, and it also retains the characteristics of business style. According to the supply chain information, this time, the Huawei Mate 50 screen is still provided by BOE, which has cooperated for many years. Overall, the display effect of this screen is relatively transparent. Even in a bright outdoor environment, the screen can clearly present the picture in color. It is worth mentioning that the Huawei Mate 50 plain leather version uses Huawei's self-developed common glass. This time I also simulated letting the phone fall freely from the usual handheld height. After landing, the screen surface does not have any scratches, and the glass is resistant to drop and scratch resistance are good. According to tradition, Huawei Mate 50 also supports IP68 dust and water resistance. Immerse the phone in water for about 10 seconds, take it out and wipe it dry, and it can be used normally immediately. On the whole, the appearance, screen and details of Huawei Mate 50 can be set to be in place. It is a phone that allows you to use very worry-free. It may not need a lot of gorgeous parameters to embellish it, but it can make me very comfortable. No burden to use with confidence, which is actually a key to the use experience. One of the focuses of everyone's attention at this conference is the Bidu satellite communication technology launched by Huawei Mate 50. In the Changlian app of Huawei Mate 50, we can find the entrance of the Bidu satellite message function in the message. At this time, I turned off the phone's traffic and Wi-Fi, and the phone was in a state of no signal at all. After clicking send, the phone will start searching for satellites. I can align the satellites according to the direction shown in the picture, and complete the message sending. The process of sending the message only takes 6 or 7 seconds, which is still relatively fast, but every time the message is sent between it takes dozens of seconds. Once sent, the contact will receive a text message with your location and the content of the SOS message. It can be said that this life-saving function is more convenient to use, and the function is relatively complete and mature, so it is no longer an experimental function. The variable aperture function is also the focus of my experience this time. How can it make a difference to our actual photographing experience? As far as the actual situation is concerned, the aperture can indeed significantly change the depth of field in different gears. For example, in this set of proofs, we can clearly see that in the case of a large aperture, the depth of field is relatively shallow, and only closed objects are clear, while the further ones are blurred. In the mode with a smaller aperture, the foreground or distant view in the picture will be clear, and the objects in the entire picture can be fully captured, which has greatly increased the playability of the main camera. At the same time, outsole photography is prone to blur and distortion at the edge of the picture. Through the comparison of the proofs, we can also see that the small aperture can indeed improve the blur and distortion of the edge of the picture, but the image quality is compared with the normal aperture. Mode is slightly lowered. In general, the variable aperture technology does not bring qualitative changes to the photo experience, but provides new ways of taking pictures and ideas. In addition to the variable aperture, Huawei's traditional strengths of periscope telephoto photography have been retained on the Huawei Mate 50 series this time, and the photo effect is also good, but the image details algorithm traces are more obvious, and it needs to be further improved. This time, Huawei Mate 50 is equipped with its own latest Harmony OS 3. After more than three years of iteration, Hongming has become more mature. In terms of multi-device collaboration, I also tried the interconnection of phones, tablets and watches. In actual experience, under the same Huawei account, the tablet can share the cellular network of the phone and answer phone calls, while the watch can relay the navigation on the phone. It can be said that multi-device collaboration is already a Huawei Hongmin, the basic operation. This sharing method is more convenient and unified than the step-by-step -step separate sending. 
At the same time, the content is sent at one time, and the logic of the content is also guaranteed. Maybe this function is not used every day, but as long as I encounter such a situation of sending multiple types of content at one time, this function will significantly improve my experience. In terms of performance, Harmony OS 3 and Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus can be said to be a powerful combination. Needless to say, the performance that left a deep impression on me is the emergency mode used on Huawei Mate 50. When the battery is 1%, the system will automatically turn on the emergency mode. In such a very low battery state, the Huawei Mate 50 in my hand can still complete the call for about 10 minutes. The official said that if it is just standby, it can persist for 3 hours. Sometimes, this kind of basic function guarantee under extremely low power is very useful for some emergency situations, such as scanning codes at subway exits, or quickly communicating key information with people, etc. After experiencing Huawei Mate 50, a prominent feeling for me is stable. The flagship benchmark level screen, stable and long battery life guarantee, complete lens combination from wide angle to telephoto configuration, heartwarming function in emergency situations. We can see that even at a time when Kirin chips are difficult to produce, and the advantage of far ahead is difficult to achieve in the past, Huawei still hopes that the works it handed over are worthy of the word high-end. Less aggressive Huawei, more compass. Of course, there is a hint of helplessness behind this. Huawei's phone business will not give up for the time being, and how to get back on track in the future is still a big challenge for Huawei. Write your thoughts about the new smartphone. I will be very glad to read your comments. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon.